Welcome to this new video. This video is about an interview question to find out the first day sales of a current month. So if I am on 30th April 2022, I need to get the sum of the sales of 1st April 2022. So how we are going to achieve that? So suddenly when you hear the problem statement, you will think that, okay, you can use start of the month to get the first day of the month sales. But when you check the syntax start of the month, it returns the first date of the month in the current context for the specific column of dates. If you're giving a particular dates and if you are using a slicer to filter it, of course, it, this will work, but it does not work when you need to find out a particular date. So what is a new approach you are going to use? The new approach will be you need to, you need to find the end of the month with respect to today's date. So we need the current month's starting date. So you need to get the current month's last date. To get the current month's last date, you can use EO month, end of month. And you have an option for the attribute to give which month, whether it is one month earlier or one month after. So you can give one minus one so that the one month earlier previous month, you will be get, able to get the end of the month. So obviously, if you want 1st April 2022, and if you are on 30th April, when you give EO month, and if you give the attribute as minus one, suddenly the control will be going to this 31st March, and the 31st March will be taken. And the next step, what we need to give is that you need to give the next day. That means plus one you need to give. If you give the plus one, definitely the, the plus one will be the start of the new month and that will be the start of this. So it is very simple. You take the end of the current month, just subtract one month behind and just add one date. We will see both the ways and we will check out the difference between both the ways. So this is the data we are having. And this data we are having is right now the current date is 30th April 2022. And we need to get the dates of 1st April 2022. Finding it, we will try to use start of the month and we will see how it is working definitely by using start of the month will be working with if you are using a slice of order so we'll create a measure for start of month so first date sales using start of month equals to you can use calculate sum of sample data amount so calculate sum of sample data amount and we need to give the filter. Filter should be start of month and the date. So this means that it doesn't show that okay, this is the current date. If you are selecting the current month, you will be able to get the current date and current date start of the month. So we will see the example and we will get the table once again. So we have the table here and this table already has been loaded and kept. So now we will take the slicer. We we'll take the slicer and we will select the year and month in the slicer. So we got the year and month for this amount and we will select the measure which we just now created first date sales. And you can see, okay, we are getting the first date sales of all the month. And but right now what we can do is that we will create a card and this card we will select the first date of the month. And you can see, okay, we haven't selected any month in the slide, but still we got a value. But if you see the value, the value is not of the current month first of the first date. Current month is April. April 1st should be around 45. But we are getting the amount as 22. That is of March 1st. That is a first entry in this table. And it is showing the, that first entry's start date. Now, if you want to get the start date of the current month, you can select the current month here in the slicer. And then you will be getting the correct amount in this whatever amount we want. But you, the question is not like if you, you are having a slicer, you are having a table, you are having all these things. The question is simple. Okay, without a slicer, without anything, the card visual you need to show the first day sales of the current month so how you can do that the main thing we have discussed is take the end of the month date sales today with respect to the current day and subtract one month and add and add one day to that so you we will use the same logic and we will create the measure here and first day sales using a and end of month it's to or it goes to calculate sum of sample amount and here you can give we need to get the select the date property sample data and the date should be equal to eo end of the month sample so end of the month of today definitely the current date to get the current date we need to place today and that will give you the end of the month date, that is 30th 
April 2022. And you have an attribute here, one parameter you can give and parameter is with respect to this parameter, it is going to give you the day end of the month. If you are giving minus one, it is going to give March end of that. So you can give minus one. So now we are getting the end of the date of March, but we need the first date of April. So the difference between the end of the day of March and first date of April is just one day. 31st of March plus one is 1st of April. So you can just give as plus one. And we will see whether it is working properly. You can copy and paste the same card here. And we will remove this first one and we will give the current one which we have set. We have, without selecting any of the column, for this value we have first days of the sales. We have got the first day of the sales of the current month in just one step okay so first you need to get the end of the current month and you need to minus that so you will be getting the end of the previous month and just one day after that it will be the start of the new month step right? so just press one so the formula is very simple hope this will help you have a nice day